Hey everyone, here's a question from exercise 4.1, the sixth question. Chapter is basic geometrical ideas of class 6. This is the last question of this exercise. So the question is on based on true and false. The question is consider the following figure of a line MN. So this is a figure they have given to us MN and say whether the following statements are true or false in the context of the given figure. So the first one is Q, M, these are the points, Q, M, O, N, P are a points on a line M, N. So they have given line M, N. M, N means talking about this line and they are saying Q, M, O, N, P. So Q is there, M is here, O is here, N is here, P is here. So yes, you can, you can see all the points are lying on this line. So the answer for this question will be true. Then the next one is, M, O, N are a point on a line segment M, N. So line segment means it has a fixed point, fixed length or it has a two end points. Where is M, N? So M, N is located here, from here to here, right? And they're talking about three points M, O, N. So M is located, O is located and N is located. So we can say that yes, the answer will be true because all the three points are there on this line segment M, N. So the answer will be true again. Then the next question, it is M and N are the end points of line segment M N. Yes, if suppose you have given line segment M N, then M and N will become a end points of line segment. If they have given A B, then A and B will be the end points of line segment A B. Then the next question, O and N are the end points of line segment O P. No, this question is false because they have given end points of line segment O P. So uh, OP means O and P will become, O and P means O and P should be the end points. N is a point on the line segment but not the end point because you can see it is at the center of this OP, right? So this false statement. So answer will be false. Then the next question, M is the M is one of the end point of the line segment QO. So QO is here and we have given M is the one of the end point. Again, the statement is false. You can see that M is somewhere in the center or in between a Q and O. End point should means in the line segment, there should not be any points or a line extended from both the side. So you can see there's a point inside or like, uh, like in, in the line segment QO. So the statement will be a false statement. Then the next one we have given is M is point on a rake OP. So OP is here. So let me mark this OP is here. So you can see towards the P it is going. So P will be uh, towards the P means from the right, di right side it is like uh, it can be extended and the point M is here. So it is not it is a false statement because it is not there on the ray OP. So it will be a false one. So answer is false. Then the next question. Ray OP is different from ray QP. So where is OP? So OP is here. This is a ray OP. And where is a ray uh, QP? QP is here. Now they are saying that these two rays are uh, different. So we can say yes, they are different because in a ray OP, you can see that there are no points M and Q. Yes, but uh, whereas in a, in a OP, there is a, like in a OP, there are no points M and Q, but whereas in this ray QP, there are points Q and M. So we can say that yes, they both are different. So the statement is true. They are not same, they are different. Then the next one is, Ray OP is same as Ray OM. So let me erase this. So Ray OP is here and uh, Ray OM is here, this direction. And they are saying same. No, you can see that for this ray, it is extending towards the P. We can, we can, uh, we can, uh, we can continue this line from a point P or from the right side. But whereas for QO, you can see that O is a starting point and uh, oh, okay, it's O M, okay, this side. So M is uh, endless, like it can be extended and O is a starting point. So they both are different. They are not same. So answer will be a false. Then the next one, array O M is not opposite ray of 
op so where is om om is here and op is here and they're saying that they are not opposite so this is false they are opposite one is this side and one is this side so completely opposite so answer is false here the next one o is not an initial point of op again it's a false statement initial point is nothing but the starting point if they're saying op is a ray then o will become a starting point and p or the part of the p can be extended from that side we can extend and o will be the starting point but in the question they have given that it's not an initial point initial point is nothing but the starting point so it will be a false statement then the next one n is the initial point of np and nm so we can say that yes it is its initial point np is here and nm is here both are starting with n or the starting point or initial point so we can say this is a true statement so that's it i hope this question is clear in case you have for the question no doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching